Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and today I wanted to do a video review for the Hyperax bike rack. So, this is actually a really unique bike rack. I decided to get this for our Subaru that we have. Basically, we mount this into the back through this trailer hitch that we had installed as an add-on accessory. And this actually works really, really well for some of our electric bikes that we have that are actually quite heavy and also have fat tires. Uh, one of the first things you'll notice with this rack is that you have these really wide bars here. So this is kind of its folded up position. So if you're storing this away, as you can see, it doesn't take up a ton of space. I actually am standing in a kind of a converted gym game area that I have. And I usually throw it behind my pull-up bar here and one of the treadmills I have currently folded up. This works really, really well in terms of a storage space in that sense. Now, in terms of functionality, you have a large grip handle here at the top, so you can use this to move it around as needed. On the base here, this is basically where it goes into the hitch, and this basically has a keyhole here. So you can easily take the key, unplug this, and lock it as needed, so no one's going to be able to remove this off of the existing hitch. So you don't have to kind of guess as to where it's going to go. That's something really convenient they put on this. Now both of these bars basically go down. It's pretty easy to do. I may not be able to do it while holding the camera, but I'll at least show you how it works. So essentially, you have a piece here that you just push down. Once this is released, this will then allow you to raise this down. You then have these straps that then basically strap around the wheels on some of the fat tire bikes. Usually what I do is just find pieces of the frame. And I will kind of wrap this around the frame, so it's sort of an extra security measure. And then you have these large bars here that will actually go down. You can see this one's quite high and this one's quite low. So I will push this down onto the frame of the bike. And ultimately, that's what's going to keep it in place. And you just have to make sure it's really secure. You can then also lock these twisting mechanisms. This basically tightens onto the main bar. And once this is tightened down to your level of content, you just simply take this, lock it, and then you're good to go to take this on a trip. And if you decide to leave your car while the bikes are mounted, no one is going to be able to loosen this, which means they're not going to be able to take your bikes off the rack. Other than that, it's very, very straightforward to get up and running. If for any reason you need to open the trunk, there's also a section here in the middle, right down here. You can remove this crossbeam. It's like just a little metal piece. You just simply take this off, loosen this, and then the entire rack with the bikes on it will actually basically bend back in motion. So that way, you can access your trunk in your SUV without any problems. So overall, I'm very, very happy with this bike mount. We've actually bought been taking it with some of our larger bikes. I'll show an example of some of the bikes that we've been putting on it just to give you an idea of the size. So we actually have these four electric bikes and of course, we can mount two of them. Usually we'll do one of these smaller frame ones with the smaller standard tires and then we'll add a second one that has these larger tires and it can hold the weight no problem. And these are extremely heavy bikes because of the fact that this entire frame actually has a battery in it. So we'll end up basically doing two of them. Uh, on the last trip, we took the white one on the blue one here, um, and it worked perfectly. And then we'll usually take a little trailer for our daughter, which we'll hook up to one of the bikes, and we just throw that in the trunk. So, it makes for like a perfect nice day trip, you know, accessory, that we can now take the bikes to a bike trail and go and get it going. So, anyway, thanks for watching my video review. Hopefully you found this helpful, and I will talk to you later.